So Brian, many months ago, pre-quarantine, you had the idea of producing this series, Probing Questions. Why? So a couple of reasons and a, and a couple of really target audiences for this. One is the expert. And so certainly we want to prompt thought and discussion among people who already do systems level electrophysiology. Where is the field going? What does the field need? Um, and then also the non-expert. So maybe pulling people into this field who aren't directly in it now. Um, and that, that's one of the reasons why we're really trying to limit the jargon and keep the sort of explanations relatively simple so that non-experts can be pulled into this also because I think a lot of our future growth and, and progress will be for people who aren't sort of in that inner sanctum of, of EFIS now. And then third and final and, and very important to us as a company is we're doing it for selfish reasons, so, so we really want to understand, we want to be a better company and we want to understand what people need out there in the market so that we can work on those things and work on delivering them commercially. Tell me a little bit about the three researchers we're going to see in this series and, and what makes them interesting. Sure. Dr. Kerry Hoffman is an associate professor in psychological sciences at Vanderbilt University. Her lab studies neural computation, neuromodulation, and plasticity as it underlies uh, perception, learning, and memory. And one of the things that's really interesting about Carrie's lab is they have large numbers of freely moving behaving uh, primates. New things in our lab, because we weren't doing enough already, is uh, trying to understand uh, some specific neuromodulatory uh, influences on the physiology that we're seeing. Adrian Payresh is a researcher at McGill University, and he studies navigation, learning, and behavior uh, using a, a rat or rodent model and how that applies to humans also. So you mentioned the hippocampus, obviously, which is important in your work. What do you think the hippocampus is doing? That's the uh, $1 billion question. question. <laughs> Aaron is a researcher at Tel Aviv University and um, has been a professor there for about four years. He is very interested in, just like the other researchers that we're talking to, making measurements of small neuronal circuits. But the thing that perhaps that sets Aaron apart is he's very interested in being able to perturb those circuits. At this time of, uh, of my work, uh, uh, it's always been like this. There's always uh, many more ideas and things that I want than uh, uh, things that they can achieve. If you've, you've been able to make, help me understand it, and if I can understand it, I think, I think you've done your job. But um, this is very, very exciting territory, and I look forward to producing this series with you. We're going to be talking about the EFIS wish list, circuits, scaling, impacting disease. Career day. And career day. Yes. So uh, those and many more questions on probing questions.